Hi, this is Judith and I want to give you a sneak preview of LearnU.com. LearnU.com is a new way to learn Chinese. It's a computer system that creates a personalized course just for you, based on knowing which words you had trouble with, which grammar points you had trouble with. It will keep giving you exercises so that you can master Chinese and move on lesson for lesson. This is the main page. We have a section of uh, units like basics, actions, likes, family, numbers, weather and so on. And there will eventually be enough lessons to cover everything up to a very very high level of Chinese. Right now we're just covering the part up to the HSK1 exam, which is uh, the lowest official exam of Chinese. But it's good enough to get started. And apart from the official units, we also have some optional lessons which will be useful if you want to learn words relevant to you. For example, if you come from an obscure country like Antigua and Barbuda, you can learn what this country name is in Chinese in these optional lessons. So, let's look at one of these units. We have several lessons within this unit, a lesson on names, nationalities and greetings. And there are also two ways to review. There's a section where you can read a text to review, or you can have a conversation with the computer. So if you don't know any local Chinese people, you will be able to practice what you learned by talking to the, com to the computer. Looking at names, this is what it might work. Uh, looking at names, uh, this is what it works like. First, you see some new words. In this case, we have two words: wo and shi. We use the simplified characters right now for everything, but eventually you'll be able to select traditional characters as well. And of course, at the beginning of the course, we will have an explanation of how characters work and how you can remember them and how the pinyin, the uh, Latin way of writing Chinese, works, how you can pronounce Chinese. Those would all be, uh, be pre-lessons. This is the first real lesson, and we're starting with, with two words, wo and shi. Wo means I or me, shi means to be. And with that you get the first sentence, which is wo shi, Superman. We write the Chinese characters in big letters, so that you your eyes are drawn to it. And then, of course, you're not supposed to know Chinese characters at this point, so you can also use uh, the Romanized way of writing Chinese uh, down here, Wo Shi Superman. And you're supposed to select the right translation in this first exercise. You have a bunch of options. If you forgot what Wo and Shi means, you can look at the new vocabulary again. Wo is I or me, Shi is to be, so Wo Shi Superman is I am Superman. And this was correct. Now you notice that two of these boxes have turned yellow. This means that you started to learn two words. There are seven boxes in total here, representing seven words. If you learn seven words in this lesson, then you have mastered this lesson. Every lesson is just seven items. Of course you need to do more than just see them once, so these boxes in yellow will gradually turn a darker, darker green, and that is how you'll know that you've mastered them for the time being. They will eventually come back for review. So continue on. The next lesson, the next sentence is Wo Shi Anna, and you're supposed to translate it to English. And I'd say that's I am Anna. Yes, correct. And you noticed that the two words here, wo and shi, have turned uh, green now. Now there's a new word, ni, meaning you. Don't worry about the character right now, just remember the pronunciation, ni and you. By the way, we'll also have recordings by native speakers, of course, for each word and each sentence. So, the question, how do you say you in Chinese? This is uh, yet another way to practice. In this case, it's ni, like this. 
Okay, so this is the first kind of exercise again. You get a, a sentence and you have to choose the right translation. In this case, I am Tarzan, you are Jane. There we go. And a new word, bu, meaning not. How do you say not in Chinese? Well, I would hope you remember it over this very short time frame. It's bu. Okay. And now there's a sentence that you should translate to English. Bu shi. So not b. But I'm not quite sure, so let's say I don't answer. And it says the answer would have been no, I am not or it is not. Okay. We'll know that next time. Another translate to English exercise. Washu Mary. I am Mary. All right. And do you recall how to say not in Chinese? You can type this as pinyin, like bu, and you can type a four in order to put the right tone mark on the u. So you don't need an international keyboard. Or you can also type your answer in Chinese if you have a Chinese keyboard. Or if you have uh, Chinese support for on your computer, so type bu. Like this. Alright. And so we continue on and on. There's more words, more translations, more exercises. So we have a way, a, a way to practice Chinese by translating one word, by translating a whole sentence, either to Chinese or to English. We have a way to practice by choosing the right translation. Uh, we also have a word order exercise, which you haven't seen yet. And there will be even more different exercises so that you can practice Chinese in a, in a lot of different ways. And if you find that you don't want to continue at this point, or maybe a friend arrived, you don't have the time anymore, you can click on save and quit, and your progress will be remembered. Next time you go back to this lesson, you will start out with five green words. And you can continue from there. But each lesson is only seven items, so if you actually study a lesson all the way through, you will probably only need 10 minutes, maybe 15 if you don't remember quickly. So it's also definitely possible to do one lesson at a time and quickly progress uh, through the entire course. Yeah, so that's basically the overview I wanted to give you. Now we will be opening the site to alpha testers very, very soon. I can't promise an exact date because the holidays are coming up but uh, we will be opening the site very soon and our best supporters will be getting in first and then we will gradually gradually open the site to more and more beta testers and then the public all right thank you very much for watching see you soon